Thank you for your interest in our study. My name is Joseph DeLuca. I'm a clinical immunologist and allergist in Melbourne, Australia, and our study focused on a cohort of patients who experienced immediate adverse events following COVID-19 vaccination. The study questions were looking at the safety of vaccine challenge in this cohort, as well as identifying the predictors of positive vaccine challenge. We looked at adults who were referred to two specialist vaccine allergy centres in Melbourne, Australia over a five month period in 2021, who reported immediate adverse events following COVID-19 immunisation. And at the time in Australia, we had the Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines available. Primary outcome for the study was positive challenge, stratified as subjective symptoms versus objective signs post challenge. The decision for skin testing and or challenge was made by the reviewing clinician with panels for excipients as per previously published protocols. Vaccine challenge was done as a single step full dose challenge with the index vaccine and anaphylaxis was defined as per the Brighton collaboration criteria. To identify predictors of positive challenge, we did univariate logistic regression followed by multivariable analysis via stepwise backward method. A summary of baseline and index reaction characteristics revealed that 93% of the cohort were female with a median age of 45 years at first review. 19.8% of the cohort had a prior history of atopy with the vast majority experiencing a reaction after their first vaccine dose. We stratified the cohort by Brighton criteria with 51% not meeting case definition. 81% of the cohort received treatment for their index reaction with 58% requiring adrenaline. 35% of the cohort were hospitalized with this reaction. Looking at the study profile, we identified 242 patients with possible allergy who were referred to the two centers with 133 having an immediate phenotype. 17 did not proceed to allergy testing. That left us with a final challenge cohort of 116 patients. 71 of these had a negative vaccine challenge with 45 having a positive vaccine challenge with only five of these having objective signs of a challenge with revaccination. 40 patients had subjective symptoms who, which were mild and required little to no treatment to resolve. Looking at the outcome of skin testing, 19.7% of the cohort were skin testing with 100% being skin test negative. Looking at the challenge outcomes for these patients, the majority were negative on challenge uh, with a small number having uh, subjective and objective positive challenges. Looking at the predictors of positive challenge, Absence of hospitalization, receiving any treatment for their index reaction, and an absence of a history of atopy, all were associated with an increased risk of positive challenge. In terms of the Brighton criteria, level one being the highest level and not meeting criteria, both were associated with a higher risk of positive challenge. In terms of key findings, this is one of the first cohorts to report challenge outcomes, including the Chadox 1S AstraZeneca vaccine. Skin testing was not a useful predictor of challenge positivity in this cohort, which has been reflected in the international experience. Predictors of positive challenge included lack of atopy and hospitalization. And we found that Brighton criteria was not helpful to discriminate between those who might be most at risk for challenge. Based on our data, revaccination is possible in those with immediate adverse events following COVID immunization if patients are carefully selected and they're challenged in a supervised environment. Thank you.